I'm Rachel Cornish from the Evan Cornish Foundation. I'm a trustee and set the foundation up um, in 2008. Um, uh, having come here, I feel absolutely inspired. I come from the north of England in Sheffield um, and we fund small projects with um, quite a, uh, there's a big group of Roma um, people um, who are coming, have come more recently into Sheffield. So we fund at the moment some projects with girls um, around self-esteem and keeping them safe. Um, but I looked at that film and thought if you could just show them that film then to see um, the, their possibilities, um, their empowerment would be greater. I think for a lot of people to see that film, I think to change, in the UK there is still a level of racism that comes through lack of knowledge. <clears throat> I think that first film you showed us immediately giving pictures of, you know, I, I'm a Roma woman shows changes that, changes your perception, changes what a word means to you, it, it changes where you come from. And I think it was very powerful, I thought they were all very powerful. I think film for me is always a powerful tool, I think visuals for everyone is very powerful. For me it is one of the examples of such an inspirable NGO, uh, activists and people who are um, full of energy uh, to make changes. Gender issue is uh, very specific uh, not only for Roma communities but for our for our society in general. And of course, as a woman, I'm thinking a lot about my place in the society, about uh, my place in my professional experience, and uh, of course taking into consideration the vulner vulnerability of uh, Roma communities in my country. Uh, I would like to say that Romani women are multiplied, discriminated. Um, in this case, of course, I, uh, I uh, taught a lot from, uh, by uh, stories. I definitely learned uh, a lot of new things and I've been just exposed to to so much that I'm trying to process as well, because um, I have a bit of a you know Yugoslavian background, um, so an interaction with um, a lot of Roma communities from my childhood and summer visits because growing up in, in North America, um, I could just see that the power of art, um, communication, music, and film um, is something that really should not be taken for granted. Is something that's really not funded and supported enough. Um, as, as, a, as a mechanism for empowerment and for skills and training and just you know self-reflection for the community that you're working with is you know for, for figuring out identity for um, finding out who people are giving them a voice and you just have to have a few willing individuals that are willing to learn and absorb what you have to offer um, implement it in their communities and then the advantage there is that you're just creating a network of people of already multicultural backgrounds just from their nature but something that ties them together um, and you know letting them feel like they're part of a whole.